Hey guys, David Patrick Green here, HackHollywood.com, HackBollywood.in. And uh, if I could just ask you to do one thing today, that would just be to subscribe, okay? One thing at a time, please subscribe to my channel because those algorithms apparently make all the difference. So today, awesome video number infinity. Um, and I just want to give a shout out to my private coaching clients um, because it's through them and their experiences and their issues, concerns, problems, whatever, that I come up with my most creative solutions. And I just had an amazing call this morning, and I don't know why this didn't occur to me before, but he was, you know, he, he's in a good place. He's trying to get a play up on Broadway, and there's a few hiccups along the way. And, you know, being in this whole COVID-19 coronavirus situation can sometimes exacerbate the situation, right? Because whatever you think is wrong seems way worse when you don't have any of the normal uh, busy stuff to do. You know, go to the dry cleaners, go to the grocery store, uh, go, you know, do whatever, get water from the, the river if that's what you have to do. But all that stuff is no longer occupying us as much, or at least uh, for some of us it doesn't. And without that busy time, we are forced to face ourselves, right? And that can be really, really depressing and think, wow, so here it is. This is the reality. This is what I've accomplished and this is what I feel like I'm going to accomplish. And it may be not as much as you think because it's daunting. It's scary. And so it just occurred to me, this is just a gigantic opportunity to do a huge reset on your career on frankly anything you want on your relationships on your job if you have a jobby job on your acting career in particular though how you have been doing things uh, what is it you actually want how are you going to get what you want so let's just go through in order very briefly how I think you should do this career reset or life reset uh, based on the discussion I had with my my client God bless his heart so um, I likened life to trying to get a play on Broadway. And so he had problems with the script because he started writing the script before he had a really clear idea of exactly what it was going to look like, what the high level view is. And when he finally realized, oh my gosh, I got to get this, this log line, you know, the short version in my head clear first, and then I can sort of fill down as I go. Um, so I actually compared resetting your life to that. And now I'm comparing resetting his play with you resetting your acting career. Okay, so you've got to start with the really high level stuff. In a couple of sentences, you need to be able to say, what is it that you really want? Okay, and it's got to be very specific. It's got to be, I want to be doing this with these people in this manner as specifically as you can get and then once you've got that down like a log line in a play and you can look up log lines uh, I think there's a website called my theater guide or something similar to that and there's actually log lines and synopses and stories of the shows that were on Broadway and so look around I, I noticed that the Book of Mormon in particular had a solid line a log line synopsis and then story breakdown I believe so that's some somewhere you could take a look but basically start with the log line the elevator pitch if you got it on an elevator with someone and like it's your fairy godmother and they said hello and you said hello and they said I will grant you anything that you want your life to be, your acting career to be. And you have to be able to say clearly what that is, okay? So it could sound something like, I would like to be a series regular on a police drama within four years. You don't really have to set a timeline, but deadlines seem to help with motivation because that's the one area where people don't seem to want to let themselves down is when they set a date and it's on the calendar and they see that time coming up. It's like an exam, right? You're not going to study until you feel it in your bones. So I do recommend having deadlines, not so that you can uh, feel bad if you fail or don't make them, but it will give you a place to drive to um, in terms of time and space as well as what it is you'll be doing. 
It'll help you compress the journey because you don't have forever. Now, after you've got your log line, then you can write the synopsis. And the synopsis is a little more detailed. It's, it's the journey that you went on, but it's really in one or two paragraphs maximum. It doesn't matter why, it doesn't matter any of that stuff. It's just, uh, this is the story of David Patrick Green who wanted to be a series regular on a police drama. He, uh, he moved to Los Angeles where he took a job he did not like. He got laid off and then he finally said, I'm gonna get serious now and after some trials and tribulations and, uh, you know, fa falling on his face several times, he managed to, you know, meet the girl of his dreams and fall in love and get married. And he is now a professional actor as well as a coach to many very successful actors. Something like that, okay? After that, you don't, you can't really fill in the details because you aren't gonna know the details, but what you wanna do now is figure out and write down the details of how you think you're going to get there. So you're basically writing the script of, okay, this is the goal, this is the description of the journey, now fill it in. So in your synopsis, your two or three paragraphs, uh, fill in, may add maybe a timeline to the bottom of it with five or six milestones, major significant milestones that you think you would need to get to your ultimate goal. So your ultimate goal should be at the end of your timeline, and then you work your way backwards with these milestones. And then once you've done that, you simply start uh, with the first milestone and fill in the small details of how you think you're going to accomplish that first milestone, and then you get to work and you create a calendar and every single day you say, what are you gonna get, do today to get to the next milestone? And I'm sure if you just do that, focus on it, you will be amazed at how quickly you will go from wherever you are now to getting closer and closer to wherever you wanna be. But the key is to not limit yourself in terms of what you think you should do based on what other people have told you. Okay, it's gotta come from logic. So logically speaking, you need to meet people who could hire you, right? So that has to take place. And if you say the only way I'm gonna do that is really weak-minded stuff that is based on fear, fear of upsetting someone or fear of getting blacklisted, that's not gonna work. You have to do the most direct possible things that you can come up with, okay? So whether it's going to a party and meeting industry people and then meeting their friends, even if you go to a, a party that's you know for caterers or something, Caterers get hired by producers. So go to that and get to be friends with them and they will introduce you to their producer friends. Okay, so just use the most direct approach possible and that's pretty much what I'm gonna tell you guys. Reset your life now and go for it. If you don't get where you wanna go, that's fine. Most of us aren't even gonna get to the end, right? We're not even gonna get to the end of our natural lives. Something's gonna get us along the way. It could be a disease, it could be, um, you know, it could be violence, it could be a natural disaster, who knows? All you know is that you have this moment, so do something with it. And, and I would say the best thing you can do with it right now when you've got a lot, a lot of time is avoid being depressed, don't watch the news and don't watch the body count. Do a reset on your life. What is it you wanna do and do it in the most direct way possible. I hope you enjoyed this guys and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later.